Good morning. Welcome to the Wax Wake Up for Friday, January 5th. I'm Christy Matino. Former President Donald Trump asked a judge on Thursday to begin contempt proceedings against Jack Smith. He claimed that the special counsel shouldn't have filed documents in his election case because it is paused while appeals are still pending. Trump's attorneys argued the judge should sanction Smith and two of his prosecutors with civil contempt and force them to withdraw any material they have submitted for the case. Smith, who is leading the prosecution against Trump, has charged the former president with conspiring to overturn the 2020 election and obstructing the certification of results. Trump has pleaded not guilty to those charges and is waiting for a decision. The former president's attorney, Alina Haba, shared her thoughts on Smith and why Trump's poll numbers continue to increase. Jack Smith is just ignoring a stay motion. He's filing motions despite the fact that they said there is a stay. That is a complete disrespect to the order of law and the rule of law. And that is why his poll numbers go up. And a teenager opened fire at an Iowa high school on Thursday. The 17-year-old suspect has been confirmed dead and multiple students are injured. Washington Examiner reporter Haston Willis pressed the White House on their next steps in the wake of this tragedy. The White House is pushing for more gun control measures in the wake of the latest mass shooting and says that even if it gets it, it will continue asking for more. On uh, gun control, you mentioned the 2022 bill the president signed. Yeah. Do you think that that bill is having an impact on the number of mass shootings that we're seeing now? So look, I think that piece of legislation certainly was important. Uh, it, it's it's uh, it is taking steps uh, for states, uh, for example, uh, of, and states to, to take actions to deal with gun violence in their communities, but we need more. We're always going to say we need more. That's why we keep saying enough is enough. Congress needs to act. Yes, it was important that we took the step. 30 years, it took 30 years to sign that bipartisan, uh, not to sign, but to get to get that bipartisan legislation done, and the president obviously signed it, but we need more. It is not enough. That's what we believe. It's just not enough. Any new gun control measures will face an uphill battle with Republicans in control of the House of Representatives. I'm Haston Willis for the Washington Examiner. And New York City is suing bus companies that transport immigrants from Texas for over $700 million. Mayor Eric Adams announced a major lawsuit against 17 bus and transportation companies on Thursday. These companies have violated state law by not paying the cost of caring for these migrants. Today's lawsuit should serve as a warning to all those who break the law in this way. This comes shortly after the mayor issued an executive order in December requiring buses to give the city 32 hours notice before arriving and only drop off the passengers at designated locations. Failing to do so could result in a fine. However, the bus companies have been dropping the migrants off in New Jersey to avoid these new rules. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wax Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.